to our channel Storm Rider, the USS Delbert D. Black, also known by her hull number DDG-119, is one of the most modern and capable warships currently serving in the United States Navy. Named after Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy Delbert D. Black, the very first person to hold that position, this ship carries not just the latest technology, but also a legacy of leadership, service, and dedication. When you first look at the ship, it seems sleek, powerful, and bristling with advanced systems, but once you dive deeper, you realize she is much more than just a warship. She's essentially a floating fortress and command center, capable of operating across the globe in any condition. The USS Delbert D. Black belongs to the Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers, which have been the backbone of the U.S. Navy's surface fleet for decades. This specific ship is a Flight 2IA variant, which means it comes with enhanced features compared to earlier versions of the class. Flight 2IA destroyers are larger and more advanced, with additional space for helicopters, improved living conditions for the crew, and upgraded combat systems. The Arleigh Burke class itself is known for its versatility, able to handle almost every kind of mission at sea, and Delbert D. Black carries that tradition forward while adding modern refinements. From a performance perspective, the ship is designed for speed, endurance, and survivability. It is powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, which allow it to reach speeds of over 30 knots, or roughly 35 miles per hour. While that may not sound very fast compared to cars or planes, keep in mind that this is a nearly 510-foot-long vessel weighing around 9,500 tons. Moving that kind of mass at such speeds is a feat of engineering in itself, and the turbines give the ship the ability to maneuver quickly when needed, an essential quality in combat situations. In terms of range, she can travel over 4,400 nautical miles at cruising speed without refueling, meaning she can cross oceans and operate for extended periods far from home. The true strength of the USS Delbert D. Black lies in its combat systems. Like all modern Arleigh Burke destroyers, it is equipped with the Aegis Combat System, one of the most advanced naval warfare systems in the world. Aegis integrates radar, weapons, and command functions to detect, track, and engage threats simultaneously. The ship's AnSpy 1DV radar is incredibly powerful, able to monitor air and surface targets across vast distances. This allows the destroyer to defend not only itself, but also entire fleets, acting as a shield against incoming missiles, aircraft, and even ballistic threats. In layman's terms, it's like giving the ship a radar-guided bubble of protection, allowing it to see dangers long before they can strike and respond almost instantly. The ship's armament is impressive and versatile, the main weapon system is the Vertical Launch System, or VLS, which houses up to 96 missile cells. These can be loaded with a wide variety of missiles, including Tomahawk cruise missiles for striking land targets, standard missiles for air defense, and even anti-submarine rockets. This flexibility means the ship can switch roles in combat as needed. One moment it's defending against incoming enemy aircraft, the next, it's launching precision strikes hundreds of miles inland. In addition to the VLS, the destroyer carries a 5-inch Mark 45 naval gun on the forward deck, which can be used against surface targets or even to support ground troops ashore. For close-in defense, there's the Phalanx CIWs, a rapid-firing Gatling-style gun designed to shoot down incoming missiles or aircraft at very close range. Add to that torpedo tubes and machine guns, and you get a ship capable of handling almost every possible threat. Another distinctive feature of the Flight 2EA design, and therefore the USS Delbert D. Black, is the inclusion of a hangar and facilities for two MH-60 Seahawk helicopters. These helicopters extend the ship's reach significantly. They can be used for anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, reconnaissance, or even delivering supplies. With helicopters on board, the ship isn't limited to what its sensors can see directly. It can project its power and surveillance much farther out. Design-wise, the ship follows the proven hull form of the Arleigh Burke class, which is built for survivability and durability. The hull and superstructure use a combination of steel and radar-absorbing materials, which help reduce the ship's radar signature in simpler terms. 
It's harder to detect by enemy radar, giving it a stealthier profile despite its large size. The ship is also designed with redundancy and compartmentalization in mind. If one section of the ship is damaged, others can continue functioning, allowing the vessel to keep fighting or retreat safely. This philosophy of fight through damage has been a hallmark of U.S. Navy warship design for decades and is one of the reasons why Arleigh Burke-class destroyers are trusted in high-threat environments. Beyond weapons and sensors, the ship is also designed with the crew in mind. The Delbert D. Black has living quarters and amenities that reflect modern improvements compared to earlier destroyers. While it is still a warship where space is at a premium, Flight 2 IA ships provide better accommodations, improved climate control, and more comfortable spaces for sailors. Since the crew can number around 300, Creating an environment that helps maintain morale on long deployments is a big factor in overall effectiveness. One of the unique selling points of this particular ship is its namesake. Delbert D. Black, for whom the ship is named, was the first Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, the highest enlisted position in the Navy. He was a trailblazer in advocating for the welfare, training, and professionalism of enlisted sailors. By naming a ship after him, the Navy not only honors his legacy, but also ties the ship's identity directly to the idea of leadership and service. For the sailors aboard, serving on a vessel named after such an influential figure likely carries a special sense of pride and responsibility. When it comes to operational use, the USS Delbert D. Black, like her sister ships, is designed for multi-mission roles. She can perform ballistic missile defense, anti-air warfare, anti-surface warfare and anti-submarine warfare, all while supporting broader fleet operations. In practice, this means the destroyer might escort aircraft carriers, protect amphibious assault groups, patrol contested waters, or even carry out independent missions where her flexibility makes her a formidable presence. Whether it's deterring adversaries, responding to crises, or showing the flag in international waters, this ship is equipped to handle it all. From a layman's perspective, you could think of the USS Delbert D. Black as the Swiss Army knife of naval ships. It has tools for just about every situation. Long-range strike capability, close-in defense, air protection, submarine hunting, and even humanitarian assistance through helicopter support. At the same time, it's tough, fast, and designed to keep working under extreme pressure. For those with a technical background, the ship represents decades of incremental improvements in U.S. naval engineering, refined to a point where it combines firepower, survivability, and adaptability in one package. In summary, the USS Delbert D. Black is more than just another destroyer. It's a powerful symbol of modern naval capability and heritage. Technically advanced, highly versatile, and named after a legendary figure in Navy history, it represents both the cutting edge of maritime defense and the enduring values of leadership and resilience. Whether you see it from a technical standpoint as a platform bristling with sensors and weapons, or from a broader view as a guardian of global seas and U.S. interests, the ship stands out as a vital component of the Navy's future operations.